like an angel set me free where are you now do you feel safe i don't need an answer just in some space Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a day in the life video. I just got some bacon in the oven. I like to do that in the oven versus on the stove top because I have been popped straight in the eyeball before cooking bacon on the stove and I have never forgot that. So I just like to do it in the oven. You just put it on a pan on 400 degrees for about 20-25 minutes um, and it comes out perfect every time. But the kids are still sleeping. When they get up, we are gonna have breakfast and then pack up our schoolwork. I'm gonna pack us a lunch and we are gonna go do our school at the park. I figured that would be a nice change of scenery today and just something different. We've never done our school at the park. We've gone to play at the park, but we've never like taken our school and done it there. So I figured that would be something fun for them to do. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, we'll probably stay for just a couple of hours, let them get their schoolwork done and play, and then we'll come back home. So yeah, I just like to film these in between my Sunday resets because I feel like these videos, I get to actually hang out with you guys more. When you're filming cleaning videos, you aren't really hanging out, you're just watching me clean. So I like to post these in between. Of course, I'm going to have cleaning to do today. That's just part of my life. But... I get to do other things as well. Also, when the kids get up, I'm gonna have to wash Ray's bedding. I peeked in on her a minute ago and I noticed that I accidentally sent her to bed with just her panties. I did not put a pull up on her. We're still working on potty training while she is sleeping through the night. She doesn't wake up and go to the bathroom yet and we also still wear the pull ups when we're away from home. Um, but yeah, I forgot to put a pull up on her last night and I know she's wet in the bed. I didn't feel, but I just know she has because she, every morning when she gets up, her pull up is pretty full. So yeah, I'm going to have to give her a bath and get those sheets washed. So as I mentioned, I'm going to pack us a lunch today. Normally, like when we go to the park or something, I would probably just grab something, but we are gonna have to eat out tonight. It's gonna be one of those situations we don't have any choice but to eat out. So I don't wanna eat out twice today. So we're just gonna pack our lunch for the park and then we'll eat out for dinner tonight. But anyways, let me get this breakfast done. The kids should be up any minute.
this is just an old bottle of detergent that I bought back when I was using cloth diapers with Ray. However, this is not the original detergent that came in the bottle. Um, we finished off that and then refilled it with our Arm & Hammer. It's so much easier to squirt this into the washer versus having to wrangle that big container. It's like this, but bigger. Um, so that's what we've been doing. And I put a little bit of bleach in there. I finally got some liquid bleach. So yeah, anyways, I wanted to explain in case you were wondering what this was that I squirted into the washer. <laughs> well, I burnt the bacon, y'all. I put it on for an extra five minutes because sometimes it takes that extra five minutes. And the oven was still preheating when I put it in there. So I figured it would be fine to add the extra five minutes, but no. I should have just done the 20. <sighs> I guess we'll be having eggs and fruit and yogurt. I'm also gonna go ahead and give them their vitamins. I try to do this first thing in the morning just so we don't forget. Um, these are for Kane. So if y'all been watching my videos, y'all know he is like a super picky eater and he doesn't like a lot of vitamins that I have put in front of him. This being one, he fights me over these. So I switched him to the little critters and so far he loves them. So he'll get one of these and for Kai and Ray, I'm gonna continue giving them these vitamins just until they're all gone. And then once these are gone, I'll probably go ahead and switch them all over to the little critters. I'm all ready for the day. I decided just to go ahead and put my makeup on for the day um, since we have somewhere to go this evening and we're more than likely going to be going inside to eat somewhere. So that way my makeup will already be done for the day but I'm about to go make our lunch and then get out the door. One of those days where I feel like I'm spinning my wheels to get out the door and it just isn't happening so I'm gonna go make our lunch real quick and try to be out the door within the next 10 minutes. By the way these are some new claw clips I got recently. They're just little flowers. I'm always wearing claw clips. It's my go-to hairstyle because it's so easy to do. I can just throw it up and go. Um, but I got these off Amazon, so if you guys are interested, I can link them down below.
All right, so I got our lunch pack. We were out of jelly, so I just did peanut butter sandwiches. We got three of those in there. Um, I've got four bottles of water. We had exactly three of these left. These are pretzel and goldfish bags that I made up a couple of weeks ago, so we'll take those. And then this container, I've got strawberries and grapes, um, some Baby Bell cheeses, and I'm gonna take one of these for my lunch. I'm not gonna eat a sandwich or anything. I'm just gonna have that if I get hungry. And then I've also got an Alani in there. This is the cherry slush. And I do have an ice pack on the very bottom so everything can stay cold. Almost forgot, but I'm also gonna take our Mio drops. Y'all, it is so peaceful out here. I think we're gonna start doing this more often because they actually got more work done than they would have gotten done at home. I may do this at home as well, but today when we came out here to the park, I told them, okay, you're gonna have 30 minutes to do work and then after that you can go play. But you have to be working during that 30 minutes to get your play time. They actually got more work done that way versus me just saying, okay, get this and this and this done and then you can go play. So that worked out perfect, but I usually pay for like the yearly membership out here. Way we can come out here unlimited amount of times. Um, but if not, it's usually like $5 for the daily park and pass. Um, so I just did the daily thing today, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and pay for the yearly thing again this year so that we could come out here and do things like this more often. They have like a nature trail over on that side that we usually will 
go for walks on. We haven't this year, but it's getting that time of year where it's gonna be perfect weather to go do that. And over here, they've got the lake. So it's just so peaceful and quiet out here. There was nobody out here this morning. Um, so we just got to hear the birds chirp while they got their school done. I already had to crack open my Alani because I'm running low on energy, but I do have a lot of cleaning I need to get done when we get home. I kind of just left the mess and walked out because I felt like I was just spinning my wheels um, trying to get out the door. So I just left the mess and I'll deal with that when we get back. So when we get back home, we have some cleaning motivation going on and the weather is perfect. It's cloudy and breezy so it's like the perfect temperature what is it ray ray what is it are you thirsty yes yes so can you say yes ma'am yes ma'am here's your juice and y'all i forgot to do her hair when she got out of the tub i brushed it and i was gonna go back and put like a bow in it but i forgot so yeah she's just wearing her hair down today and i brought this dry erase book for um ray but she didn't really show any interest in it today pretty much brought it just in case she wanted to do school with us but she didn't really care today she was more interested in the snacks which is totally fine so uh, that's what i brought for her though Oh, good job <laughs> and I got it on camera home I needed to have a quick little cleaning sesh unpack the lunch bag they had actually ate most of what I packed but I'm gonna spray the inside of that with method give it a quick wipe before I store it away um, but I also just really needed to clean up from the morning mess get all the dishes washed up we don't have a dishwasher so we are constantly having to wash dishes just so they don't get out of control. But right now the kids are watching Homeschool Pop. That's one of our favorite educational YouTube channels. So I like to pop that up on the TV if I just need a minute to get some things done. But I also don't want them just watching pointless cartoons. I try to make sure that we are watching educational things on TV during the day. We don't always do the TV during the day. We just get so busy with other things. But I do utilize it if I need to. And my three-year-old really likes Miss Rachel she's another one of our favorites but she's like more for like the little little kids but the boys really enjoy homeschool pop
For my lunch today, since I didn't really have lunch at the park, this is a breakfast burrito. We made up a bunch of these and stuck them in the freezer, so I just had to reheat it, but it's got potatoes, eggs, bacon, and cheese. Okay, so we haven't had overnight oats in a while, so I figured I would make some. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I got to thinking that peach overnight oats would be good. So I looked up a recipe really quick and it's pretty easy and basic. I'm gonna be semi following that. I've got some vanilla protein powder back here. I'm gonna substitute. Um, the recipe calls for vanilla extract, but this is already vanilla flavored and protein powder would be good to put in there. So I'm gonna do that. I've got Greek yogurt. I'm gonna throw in some chia seeds. Um, it says that you can do honey or any kind of granulated sweetener i'm gonna do brown sugar these are old-fashioned oats and i'm gonna throw in this thing of peaches ideally you would probably use fresh or frozen peaches this is what i have so that's what i'm gonna use but honestly you really don't even need a recipe for overnight oats i was just looking one up for the peach one since i've never had it before um, but you can throw in whatever you want in your overnight oats so there we go I did not measure anything I just kind of eyeballed everything and put it into the jar poured milk over it gave it a shake and I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge at least for several hours before we try it if not we may try it tomorrow um, but I'll let you guys know how it is all right so this morning I washed Ray's bunny this is the bunny she has slept with since she was a very small infant um and she takes it everywhere she very rarely <laughs> lets me wash it um but this morning i snuck it in as you guys saw so i noticed one of the ears got left behind in the dryer and so i'm gonna try to patch that back on the other ear is barely hanging on by a thread so i'm gonna try to reattach that one as well but yeah i haven't done this in a very long time the last time i sewed anything was when i was a very young little girl when my nana was teaching me to sew and unfortunately i don't remember much but it can't be too hard right Okay, so I know for a fact I did not do that correctly, but at least the ears are back on there and they're attached for now. I don't know how well they're gonna stay because like I said, I really don't know what I was doing, but they're back on there, so Ray will be happy. Plus the needle that I was using was really old. That was my Nana's 
old sewing stuff. Um, we have all of her, like her sewing table and all of her sewing stuff. They're in the middle bedroom, so I used one of her old sewing needles and it was like kind of rusted on the tip, so it was kind of hard to push through. I'm gonna go ahead and get this laundry folded so we don't have to worry about it when we get home tonight. But thank y'all so much for watching today's video and hanging out with me today. I will see y'all again on Sunday for a new reset. If you're still watching this video, be sure to leave a butterfly in the comments before you go. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I had someone ask me the other day if subscribing was free and yes, subscribing is 100% free. You do not have to pay to watch any of my videos here on YouTube. The whole purpose of hitting that subscribe button is so that when I post a new video, YouTube will automatically put it in your subscription feed. It just helps you to keep up with my channel. So instead of having to go search my name every time you want to see if I have posted a new video, YouTube will automatically put my video into your feed. And not always does YouTube do this. Sometimes videos don't appear in subscription feeds for whatever crazy reason so if you hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button you'll get notified anytime I post a new video so that's really helpful but yes subscribing is completely free anyways thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one